Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. I recently upgraded to an iPhone 11 Pro Max and posted an unboxing and max size review videos on my channel. If you haven't already checked it, I've posted the links below in the description so you can check them out. In today's video, let's look at the essential accessories for the new iPhone. As I mentioned, mine is the 11 Pro Max, but these accessories are available for all size iPhones. First up is a screen protector. It goes without saying that the screen is the most important and expensive thing on an iPhone. I used to use normal film screen protectors for long before trying out the tempered glass ones. These are quite sturdy and will give you that almost glass feel while using the touchscreen on your phone. I here have the Jetek brand ones. This brand is quite popular on Amazon and you can get one for about five pounds and that will give you two tempered glass screen protectors. I've tried other brands as well before and if possible, I would recommend the Spigen ones as it comes with an applicator frame and you get best better quality with that brand so basically you stick this frame on top of your iphone and simply drop the screen protector on makes it super easy to install on the jetek ones i didn't get it so it was a pain really to apply the screen protector correctly onto my large iphone i couldn't find the spigen ones on the amazon when i was buying so I got had to get these Jetek ones instead. In my experience, they stay fine for about a an year and after that they start bubbling up. You see bubbles to the corners caused by the adhesive as it wears out. This happened almost with every screen protector that I have used. But still, they protect your screen from scratches and it really is an essential thing for any phone. Second is a case. I know covering your beautiful iPhone is such a bummer, but better safe than sorry, right? Plus, you can get a clear case which will show off your beautiful phone's color and the camera system. Even Apple started offering clear cases and have tried one at the Apple store. It felt quite sturdy and thin, but I think you can get a decent one for about 25% of the cost from brands like Griffin or Spigen again and they will be as good as Apple ones. First here I have the Apple's official silicon case in black color which is 45 pounds in the UK. Considering what it is this really is a premium cost which you pay for something which will last about a year or a year and a half. You see this is my old case for the iPhone 10 and it already started to peel off. This one I got it when, when the iPhone 10 launched and you can see how, in what shape it is. But the thing I like about them is the way they feel in hand and how they do not add any bulk to your iPhone. And also they look really good. If money is not an option, then you can go to town with the color range which Apple offers and then buy one to suit your mood, your outfit or anything else. Apple also offers these leather ones which feel more premium in the hand but they wear out quite quickly. I used the cases before and after three months into use they start decoloring. Here is another one which I have from Spigen. I got it off from Amazon. It's a clear crystal case and it costed only about seven pounds. So let's unbox it together and see how it fails in hand. So here's the box. Comes in this nice little packaging. And look at the green campaign. It's good that everyone is conscious about the environment and they use recycled materials as much as possible. It's the crystal clear case which I've got. So it says pull here. Let's pull that tab. Okay, off it pops. And there you go, that's the case. It 
says you need to peel the protective film on the front and the back before using. Okay. Now let's try to, it feels quite sturdy in the hand. It's got a nice grip as well to the sides. It seems like there's a protective film both on the outside and the inside. Well, it's a clear case, obviously. They want to keep it as clean as possible until you get it out and stick your iPhone into it. So let me take this case off. And So I'll try peeling this off. It's a shame that they don't give like pull tabs or extenders somewhere at the end, which will make this peeling easy. Okay, there you go. And that's, that's quite sturdy. One done, one more to go. This one is tricky to find the corners. Okay, there you go, got it. Again, quite a strong adhesive. That comes off and that's the case. Let's quickly pop the iPhone in. The buttons first and then the other side, yeah, there you go. So that feel, fits quite snugly. It feels uh, quite sturdy in the hand. Really almost as good as the Apple case. And mind you, this costed only seven pounds on Amazon, but the Apple case costs about 45 pounds. Look at that, so it's got the branding on the side, if you can see that. Okay, the bottom is covered, so it's not fully exposed as the uh, Apple ones. You can see the cutouts for the charger and the speaker and the mic. And then the volume rocker. Ah, look at that. That's the lengthy text which everyone were complaining about on Amazon. Yeah, Spizen, Spizen should have done away with that. They didn't have to write so much on the side of it, especially when everyone is concerned about the look of the case. The missus tells that I would come out with a nail polish remover, but uh, yeah, I don't want to try it straight away. Look at that, there's a camera bump as well there. And then, so when you place your phone, the camera is protected. And on the top also there's a lip so that your front of the screen is protected as well. And you can put it face down. So that's it. That's the Spigen case, guys. Apart from that ugly writing on the top, on the on the on the side of it, I think this is a really good option. It feels as sturdy as the as the Apple ones. I have used these cases before, cases from this brand, and they really are quite good. And I can recommend this. And for seven pounds, I think this offers decent protection as well as you can show off the color, especially if you've got that new midnight green color. I think you can just show off the color straight through the case. So that's the Spigen clear case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. As I said, you can get it for any size iPhone. I'll post the links down in the description below so you can check it out on Amazon. The next accessory is a stand. If you're like me, then I'm sure you felt the need for a decent stand for your iPhone, especially if you want that hands-free time with your device. You can go to town with these as there are so many available, but my fave one is this one actually. It's the Belkin one which I bought a couple of years ago. I can't seem to find it anymore on Amazon or any other website. It's slightly bulky, but look at how smoothly it springs into action. 
he almost feels like Apple made it, but only for a fraction of cost. I think it costed me about 10 pounds when I bought it, not more than that. But yeah, I can't find it anywhere now. Let's look at that spring action one more time. Wow, that's really good. Then I have this one actually, which is, I got it from Ikea. It's slightly bigger, so you, you can actually put, put an iPad on it and then you can turn it around. You get to a different angle as well. It's good, it does the job. And it works for the iPad as well, so that's a bonus, I guess. And the next option is the cheap plastic ones. You can get three of them for five pounds on Amazon. Yes, they do feel cheap and plasticky, but they do what they're supposed to. And they're actually quite sturdy, if you see. I'm tapping the iPhone with my force and then they're still staying in place. Just simple lift and click mechanism and offers several angles as well, actually. It's a clever idea. And five, five pounds for three of them, that's job nicely done. I'll post the links of that in the description as well, if you just wanna go and check it out. This could be a stocking filler as well for Christmas. Next is cables. I list two of them here. First up is the lightning cable. For me, seriously, I cannot have enough of them. And again, the ones which Apple provides start chipping after a year. All my friends have got the same issue and checking the internet. I don't think it's just me. Everyone have got the same issue. I don't misuse the cables. I don't carry it around. They're just onto my bedside table and they're just in the place but they still start chipping so here I have the nice braided ones from sync wire you can get the Amazon basic cables as well and both feel sturdy and they're all Apple's lightning certified the second is this 3.5 millimeter headphone to lightning adapter wireless headphones are very popular now and so many have switched for them especially when Apple themselves offer the most popular AirPods and recently announced the AirPod Pros, which everyone is raving about on the internet. But I still use wired headphones from time to time. I just want to plug it in and not worry about whether they have been charged or not. And with the removal of 3.5 headphone jacks on most mobile phones, it's such a pain nowadays because you've got loads of old headphones lying around. Here's the first party Apple accessory, which Apple sends, sells for 10 pounds. Let's quickly unbox them. This used to be included with the iPhone 10 in the box, but I don't think the 10s and 10s Max had it. And with the 11s, you don't get this at all. If you want to buy direct from Apple, it'll cost you 10 pounds. You could probably go to Amazon and get it for about seven pounds. So if you're like me and if you want to use your old wired headphones or plug in that wired speakers or plug in a microphone add on or something like that, then this is a good accessory to have on hand. Next up is the wireless charger. I here have the Belkin 5 watts wireless charger which I bought for about 14 pounds. You can go for faster chargers, but they will cost a bit more. And when it comes to charging, it is very convenient. I mean, they're not as fast as the fast charger included with the iPhone 11 Pros. But yeah, I mean, if you're not in a hurry, this really does the job. And it is so convenient rather than finding the cable and plugging it, plugging it in, you could just leave your phone on the pad and it 
does the charging for you. And again, it's from the brand, so they have got they have done decent accessories till now. I never I never had any issues with Belkin. Finally, this is an interesting one and would be helpful if you do not want to leave your iPhone charging overnight. Especially now with the included fast charger, it doesn't have to be plugged in for the entire night. So you need to use a smart plug to schedule the charging cycle. I here have the Amazon smart plug priced at about 25 pounds. Although Amazon usually reduces the cost of this during its sale time. So you can pick this along with the new Echo Dot for about 30 pounds. I usually set a schedule with Amazon Alexa app for it to run about four hours in the in early in the morning from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. And that gives me like 100% charge both for my Apple Watch and my iPhone ready for the day. You can also manually turn it on and off with this button on the side. And if you have an Echo Dot or any other Electra input device, you can ask it to turn it on and off as needed. So that rounds up my essential accessories list for the brand new shiny iPhone 11 series. If you like my video, please leave your comments below and also hit that like button to show your support. Also, please subscribe and turn that notifications bell on so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, Thanks a lot for staying until the end. See you in my next video. Bye for now.